Hi, Starry here. So, um, today we're going to work on the masks. And so you can see I've got one already cut out that we cut out before. And this one I'm going to cut out now. So I've got my scissors. And then we'll need our sewing machine. And then you'll just need something to use in the nose. So this I've taken off of a coffee bag. Um, you can also use floral wire, beading wire, um, pipe cleaners, just anything that you've got with a little bend. Now again, when I did this pattern, I'm only using half the pattern. I laid it on the fold, I pinned it down, and then I, I doubled my fabric so that I'm cutting out both the front and back of the mask at the same time. And I'm just going around with my scissors. Okay, so we've got this piece here that looks, I don't know, to me it looks kind of like a bat. Um, and the first things we're going to do is we're going to sew up these seams right here so um right sides together it's a little hard to tell on this fabric but right sides together i'm gonna sew here match that up better still just using the one hand i'm hoping to get a little adapter for my tripod so that i can put my camera on on the tripod and then I'll do the same with the other seams. So let me sew those up and then I'll come back. Again, I'm gonna use about a quarter inch seam allowance. So I've re-threaded my machine with some light blue thread. Um, and we set, go ahead and start with the needle end and we'll just so that short little seam. So here's my first seam. Now I'm about to do the seam at the top of the nose. Um, so I'm doing it basically the same way. I'm gonna go ahead and put the needle down. So a couple in. Let's see if I can do this. Do some back stitches. my seam at the top. So now my mask is starting to take just a little bit of shape so you can kind of maybe see <clears throat> where we're going. So you can see it has a natural curve for the face and it has kind of a flattish area on the bottom for the chin had a lot of people try on um, that traditional, you know, the Olsen mask you find and it looks like a an axe head and try on this one. Um, I made a variation of the Olsen so that it wasn't all cut down the front because I didn't want to interrupt the pattern. You can see here it, it goes this way because I didn't want to interrupt that pattern as much. Um, and people really liked this one too, um, but this one just has more room in the chin area. And, and people have been telling me that that one seems to be more comfortable. So that's the one I've been working with lately. All right, let's go ahead and do this second mask piece the same way and then I'll meet you back. Okay, if you feel like you're having trouble folding your fabric and keeping it folded before you're sewing, go ahead and use a pin. Uh, this pin shouldn't get in your way, and then you can always just pull it out when you get to it. 
Okay, so now that you've gotten all your seams sewed, you're gonna turn one of your one of your pieces right side out and one of them inside out, or keep one of them inside out. That way, you can fit them together. We're gonna make sure the seams match. Um, you, if you want to, you can go ahead and go to your sewing machine and just iron the seams, make them lay flatter, and it helps you to get a better seam. And um, I do that sometimes, and sometimes I don't when I'm just being quick and sloppy. Um, but for this tutorial, I think I will go ahead and go over and just iron my seams flat. You make sure you put your seams and your edges nice and straight together. And then I will come back and put a pin, a couple pins along the edges just to hold everything in place. All right, I'm gonna go to the ironing board and I'll be right back. All right, so after ironing um, my seams down flat, I matched everything up. I matched my edges and put pins in. And I forgot to mention that I was also gonna iron the sides down and pin them. So the way I'm doing that is I'm just taking my raw edges Pulling them apart a little bit, just fold them over. And this way, when we turn on the mask, we'll have those finished edges. Um, when we sew our masks, we're going to um, put our elastic. There's so many different ways to do elastic on masks. Um, and what I've done is I have a couple clean masks and that I might ask someone who wants a mask to just try it on and see how it fits. So that way I know, you know, cause everybody's different. Um, to use like a little bit longer piece for them. So for this one, I cut about six, six and a half inches. It's, it's up to you. And we're, I'm going to just attach it like this. Attach it like that. If it's a little too long, they can use an ear saver or make a little knot in the end. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna sew down the sides, um, sort of like we're sewing a pillowcase almost. We're gonna sew down this side with our quarter inch seam allowance. And then we'll do some back stitches to lock at this end. Clip our thread, turn it over, come over and start over here. And then sew with a quarter inch seam allowance down the bottom of the mask. All right, now you can see we're done with our seams on either side. So we're gonna go ahead and flip the mask over. We'll just take it here and turn it inside out. That's what it looks like when it's turned inside out. So you have to do some fiddling to get it into the right shape. And at this point, I like to iron it because it helps my seams to lay flat inside. And that way it's a little easier to work with. Okay, so now I've ironed the mask, uh, so it's looking much more together. You can see it's made my seams lay nice and flat. 
So I can go ahead and attach the elastic by just putting it inside and sewing the seam together. But before I sew both of them together, I'm going to insert a piece of wire up here on the bridge of the nose. What I was using earlier, what I told you, is I took these off of a bag of coffee and I just cut them in half. You don't need the whole length. This measures about three inches. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to measure about one and a half inches. I'll mark it and I'll just sew down. And then I'll sew over and make a little pocket, basically, that I can fit this into. And then I'll finish sewing up the side. Okay, so I basically just measured one and a half inches from this center seam on either side. Um, and I made it about a quarter inch deep. Okay, and I just find it tons easier to sew straight uh, straight seams on this because of this nose curve if I mark it out. So I have used my friction pin uh, that'll come out with heat and I've just made myself some little lines. Um, to me, it works a lot easier. So it's a little less frustrating. At this point, I'm going to take the mask out of the machine and fit the metal piece, the twist tie, the pipe cleaner, whatever it is that I'm using into that little pocket that I just made. Now with this fabric being such a light color, you can almost see it in there. Um, so I just took and had sewed it halfway. I came in through the end pushed my nose bridge device in there and it fits wonderfully nice and snug so then I'll come down and I can make this seam a little bit longer if I need to because it looks like the edge of it is a little longer um, but that's a nice guide I'll just sew right up along it I might even want to try uh, using my zipper foot to see if I can't get a little bit closer uh, and make this line kind of match up a little better. I think I'm going to try that. Yeah, I think I like this a lot better with the zipper foot. Um, that way, if the foot was to encounter the side of whatever kind of device I put in here, it wouldn't push, push the fabric aside. Alright, for this part, I just put the elastic in and I can just feel it. So I'm just going to feel, you know, I want it in so that it's not going to come out. And then I'm going to use my quarter inch, same quarter inch seam allowance. And I may go back and forth over this area a few times just to give it a little bit of extra strength on the elastic. Now, after you've done that, you can go ahead and go back and give it another stitching on the edge. Give it, gives it a double row, gives it a little bit of extra strength, and it also helps it not to fall back on itself when you wash it. Okay, I've gone back and put in a double row of stitching on each side just to give it a little more uh, security, stability. Um, these are about the same length on either side. And there's the mask. All right, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Um, and then let me know in the comments below if you want any more tutorials. 
Uh, like I said, I think next time I'm going to try to make a hat and mask out of a fat quarter. Um, and then I'm planning on doing some other things, maybe some pajamas or something like that uh, here in the near future. Thanks and have a good day.